commissioners, if you'll indulge, um, I would like to, we have an agenda item on the full board that I'm go that's just a Thank receive you. and file, and I'm gonna ask that we actually make that 7B on this agenda so that our um, DIA director doesn't have to sit here all evening. Um, okay, so please, um, uh, Please uh, join us, uh, Mr. Salvador Salort Pons, I hope I said that correctly, and this is uh, to give the 2016 report. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you, uh, Board Chair and Commissioners, for allowing me to talk to you today about the activities that the DI has uh, undertaken in 2016 with um, Macomb County. I'd like, to, first of all, to thank uh, the Arts Authority in Macomb, um, the chair of the Arts Authority, Stan Simic, is here, and it's been a fantastic pleasure to work with him and his team over uh, the last year. It's, it really feels now uh, like, uh, like a team working with them, great feedback and great advice, and we always try to, in as much as we can, to implement the, the feedback and advice that we get from the Arts Authorities. and. Um, um, use it in our programs and all the uh, services that we provide to the Macomb uh, residents. I'd like also to uh, thank again uh, Macomb County for the wonderful support. This is really uh, fantastic for us. Uh, it really helps us and for our operations every year. And um, I'd like to say that the, uh, and this is something that I've been sharing in the community, I like to say that the money is important for the museum, and we are grateful for that. But we are grateful for something that is even more important than than the funds that we receive, receive from Macomb. We are very grateful because this millage has allowed the museum to change its culture. In the past, generally speaking, the museum was looking inwards, and now we are looking outwards. We are reaching out in the community. We are working with different organizations in Macomb. We are working with the uh, residents in Macomb, and this is making our museum a better place and serving the residents in ways that we never thought. So the money is great, but thank you for helping us to be a better museum. Um, the, uh, as, as I said, uh, the service agreement, uh, I think, is being uh, implemented very well in 2016. I prepared a PowerPoint uh, highlighting some of the aspects of it. I think uh, the, uh, you know, uh, jewel of the crown in our service agreement is the, is the free admission. Uh, all residents in Macon can come to the museum for free. Um, we had this year uh, almost 47,000 visitors from Macomb for a value of admission of over $400,000. Right now, we count since uh, the inception of the millage, we're almost at $1.5 million in value of admissions. This uh, September, this, uh, sorry, this summer and in the fall, we're having uh, great exhibitions coming up. You will, if you come to the museum, you will be able to see for free the Troy 67, a, a fantastic exhibition, commemorated debates on 1967 in Detroit that we done with the Charles Wright Museum. It's the first big show that we do with the Charles Wright. There's another fantastic photo show about hip hop art and the performances that uh, the uh, residents will be uh, able to see for free. And uh, there will be two wonderful exhibitions in the, in the fall. Uh, Frederick Church, great 19th century landscaper, American landscaper, and another exhibition about the founder of the Impressionist movement, Claude Monet, opening the show. And the residents of Macomb will have uh, discounted prices for those uh, ex exhibitions. We continue uh, to provide uh, student services and, and curricul curriculum development. Um, we bring to the DI the students from uh, Macomb, and uh, we cover their uh, bus uh, expenses, their admission, and we provide them with programs with our e educators. Um, it is sometimes amazing to see the museum on a Wednesday morning with thousands of students running around the galleries and doing different workshops and interacting with art and with our um, teachers. Uh, we received last, this year in 2016, uh, uh, 12,579 students from Macomb. And uh, this is an increase from last year's uh, almost 12,000. And uh, our commitment with uh, the county is to bring um, every year 8,000. So 
we are well above our uh, commitment and we're very proud of, of, of doing that. Also, uh, we provide uh, curriculum development and educational professional development to our teachers in, in Macomb County. And uh, this is kind of a very important service that we uh, provide because we facilitate uh, the curriculum of these schools. They come to the, to the museum and there, there's a number of schools that are itemized on the slide, Utica Community Schools, Anchor Bay School Districts, and, and so forth and so on. That they come, uh, these teachers come to the, to the museum and work with our educators. They tell us what are their goals for their schools. And with that in mind, on our art collection and the uh, programs that we do in the museum, we help them build their, their curriculum. So I think that's a great uh, service that we do, and we're very happy to, to provide that. Um, this last year, uh, 2016, uh, our total investment in the school programs has been one, 157,000, uh, over $157,000. And uh, this is again an increase from the 2015 number where we provided, uh, we did an investment of almost $130,000. Our um, commitment or responsibility through the service agreement is to provide $75,000 in investment. So we just simply doubled that. And uh, we wanna continue improving uh, and doing a better job if we can in this, in this area. Another aspect of our service agreement is the uh, senior programs. We bring every Thursday a number of, of seniors from Macomb. They also have the opportunity to come by themselves and we do uh, walk-ins. Walk every Thursday there is a different activity. Sometimes there is an art talk, sometimes there is a tour in the gallery, sometimes there are art making activities or we play movies in our DFT. We provi provide them with a, with a reception. And sometimes these programs with seniors not only happen in the museum, but we go to Macomb. Uh, for example, we have uh, an agreement with the Anton Art Center and uh, we do these workshops with seniors, you know, working with them on how to make art. And, you know, make, um, art making is a, is a great um, activity, it helps, you know, has um, lots of benefits in, in, in terms of uh, well, well being. And uh, we are experts on, on working in, in, in this area, and I know the seniors really enjoy it. Uh, we continue to engage with them in as much as we come, uh, we can, and we try to improve these programs in this museum as well. Uh, you can see in the next slide our investment for 2016 f in senior programs was almost $74,000. Uh, by our service agreement, our commitment is to uh, provide an investment of $50,000, so we again uh, in put much more uh, investment in this, in, this, in this program. And uh, if, if you see the progression uh, through the inception of the millage, the first year in 2013, we were unable to fulfill our commitment, but we've been catching up over the years, and we plan to continue to, to improve and to strengthen our investment with our seniors. Another aspect of our uh, service agreement is our uh, community partnership uh, programs. This is, this is a great opportunity for the DI to reach out in the community, to really go beyond the walls of the museum and work with different nonprofit organizations in Macomb County. It's a win-win it's a situation. On the one hand, we help these organizations in Macomb to fulfill their missions. We provide with programs that help uh, uh, with their mission, but at the same time, it provides the museum with a great opportunity to bring a total new constituency to the, to the museum. Individuals, organizations that never partnered with the museum, that now are connected with the museum and bring their, their communities into, into, the, into the DI. There, are, there is, there is um, a number of programs that we do. Um, I'm especially proud of the one that I've been leading, which is uh, the director's cut talks in which I've been speaking in different public libraries and our centers here in Macomb and over the three counties. And basically introducing myself to the community, explaining where I come from, why I wanted to be the director of the DIA, and what is, what, what is the vision for the museum 
uh, moving forward. It's also a great opportunity for me to listen to the community because after my presentation, I always allow for an hour for questions and for feedback. And this, this has been a great source of information as uh, for me and for my team as we plan exhibitions and, and programs for, for, the, for the future. It's important that we do things in the museum that are relevant for Macomb, and these director cutstocks have provided me with, with that kind of, of feedback. There are other community uh, uh, or partnerships that we do that are extremely uh, successful, like the Inside Out program. Probably you're familiar with this. This is a program in which we create reproductions of great works of art in the museum, and we install them in uh, public areas in Macomb, in our libraries, in front of our art libraries, or in town squares, or we also put them in front of art uh, centers. Um, they are of, of wonderful quality. They actually uh, uh, create a sense of pride in, in the community. And one of the things that we've been doing is establishing um, programs surrounding this, uh, these uh, reproductions. So sometimes um, there is staff that comes and, and do uh, art walks, uh, you know, following the different reproductions, and sometimes it's myself who come to the community and um, I just do a tour of, of, of some of the pieces with, with the residents. Uh, last year we were in New Baltimore, in Warren, in Chesterfield Township, and in Romeo, and in uh, 2017 we'll be in, during the spring in, in Fraser and Mount Clements, and in the summer in St. Clair Shores and Sterling Heights. We also have uh, a great um, tool to reach out in the community, especially in those areas that are very far away, and generally the residents don't have as much access as others to come to the DI. We bring the DI to, to the community, and this is through our uh, DI Away track. Uh, think like an artist. Uh, this is, as you know, a track that you know has different activities inside and basically explains the creative process of an artist, from the first idea that the artist has until the conception of the making of the work of art. This has been uh, very successful in, uh, in the community. We had last year thir almost 33 days in Macomb County, and we had 6,700 uh, visitors, and this actually encourages the, the visitors of DIA Way, those who go through the, through the through the activities to come to come to the museum, and at, at the same time, it is uh, a great opportunity to have the museum in front of every of everybody in, in Macomb. You will see that the truck is going to be different from now on. We have just launched our new branding campaign. The truck in the past used to be of just blue, and it had a branding um, line called "Let Yourself Go." Now. Um, we have uh, we have uh, decorated our truck with our new branding campaign, the uh, DIA every day, and basically this new branding campaign speaks about how everybody's included at the DIA, and that how all the different communities can feel represented in the museum. They can see themselves uh, looking at art, engaging with art, and uh, doing the different activities and programs that we do in the in the museum. Uh, in terms of uh, investment for our community partnership program, this year we had invested 227,000, almost 228,000 uh, dollars. Our um, responsibility, our agreement with the uh, with the service, uh, our service agreement with Macomb, is uh, to invest uh, 75,000 dollars. So almost the three times that investment, and, and as I said, we're very proud to do that. It's a way for us to engage with the community. It's a way for us to bring the residents back home uh, into the museum, and that they feel that the, the DIA is their, their home um, as well. Just to uh, finalize my presentation, we, before we open for any question or feedback you have for me, and I'm very interested on that, I'd like to say that um, 
We would like to be everywhere in Macomb. We, will about, we would like to reach out to every corner of the county, but we know that uh, our capacity is limited and we cannot be everywhere all the time. So uh, with my team, we are starting to think how can we be more strategically in terms of our reach in Macomb County. So we want to focus on some important organizations and institutions and start doing more strategic programs that are going to have a greater impact in the community and they're going to allow us as well to monitor our performance to see where you know uh, meeting our goals and and evaluating the outcomes of of our work so we can always improve and this you know uh, you can see on the slide that we're going to start um, um, establishing a strategic plan with the Anton R Center you know, that is going to be a facility by 2019 that is going to be sh able to show um, art like we do at the DI. The facility is going to be upgraded and we, we want to work very closely with the uh, Anton uh, Art Center. We also were going to uh, be much more involved with um, Art Macomb through um, our family programs. And finally, we uh, would like to have a presence in the Emerald Theater. We have a great DFT at the DIA. We want to do film programs that can connect with the Emerald and see how come uh, we partner in a, in a meaningful, meaningful way. So that is uh, my report for 2016. We are very excited about 2017. And... Uh, uh, I'd like to, if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to, to answer. Okay, thank you. Because it's not on our agenda, I need commissioners to raise their hand if they want to. Uh, Commissioner Gillette. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Director, for being here th today. I appreciate it very much. Just a, a couple of clarifications from your presentation. Um, I was a little bit confused about the difference between the um, Macomb County School investment in terms of a dollar figure and the uh, the number of students, I guess, that are are spend a field day or a day at the DIA. Uh, are those the same thing, but one measures the student numbers and the other measures dollar amounts? Yes. Uh, let me go back to the slide. Thank you. Sorry, it's just going a little bit. Uh, it was the first slide, right? Uh, it wasn't the first slide, but it was before the senior program there. That's right, that's correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the investment in the school programs, the total invested money that we use to support the field trips to the students who come to the museum and the uh, work that we do with the teachers. That is the total investment. Okay, so it would include the, uh, the value of the um, student admissions that are provided at the museum and also the value of the programs you do directly outside right. of the museum. Exactly. Okay. Everything, and uh, if, if you see uh, the prior, uh, second, the, the second slide, you can see there the number of the students that we brought to the DI from Macomb. Right. So, we so that's, thing, that, and then you just take that, sort of add a value to it, and then it comes as right. part of your larger. Right, but it's the, it's the value of that admission, or is it not? No. Uh, transportation costs. Okay. Some supplies and staff costs. Okay. There is no allocation There's of no admissions because admission categories. Right. Okay. Uh, so we that calculate answers. the value of the pre-admission into the total one hundred and fifty-five to fifty-seven thousand dollars. If that was your question. Yeah, I was wondering if the yeah. value of those admissions were part of that figure. No, it's not. Okay. It's not. And then the one other question, if you can go back a couple more slides. Sure. I think it was your second slide yeah. where you were look, where it was a slide from 2012 to 2016. I think the other way toward the beginning of the presentation. Yep. Right here, right. Mm -hmm. So it appears to show that from 2013 through 2016 that admissions have been dropping. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but, but the value of admissions has been increasing. That's right. So does that mean each admission is worth more? Yeah, we, we raised the price of our uh, admission, of the ticket. Now it's $12.5 in, in 2000, uh, was last year, 2015? August of 15. August of 15, and we're gonna increase it again. Okay, uh, so that, that means the value will keep going up even if the less people are coming. 
Well, there's yes, in this case, yes, because the val we had a very low uh, admission price right. in the museum if you compare it to other museums in the country. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is progressively increase the, uh, the price of admission so we match museums of our size and importance uh, um, in terms of the ticket that they charge when in, in other places. Okay, so do you... Is, is the, uh, what could be the reason for the 15% drop in admissions over the last few years? This, uh, that is a very good question. And basically, admissions are driven by the exhibitions programs that we have. So when we had the exhibition, the one Frida, we had lots of people coming to the museum. So depending on the exhibitions, uh, attendance uh, um, changes. Um, for the future, we are, uh, and since I became director, we are uh, creating an exhibition program that is going to be much more attractive to the, th the, the three counties. Will those exhibitions be free to residents of Macomb County, Pitt, Texas? Some of them will be free and others uh, will not. But How do you decide that? The, our, our temporary ex our exhibitions that um, take place in a temporary exhibition space generally are a charge and uh, for uh, residents of the three counties, they get a discount for the, uh, for the ticket of exhibition. So it's those exhibitions. Um, for just a second, if when you're answering his question, um, when you start to walk, we're, we're filming this and the people at home can't hear you when you walk oh, away from the microphone, so, thank okay, you, thank Chair. you. <laughs> and I appreciate your indulgence in letting me ask a couple of questions, so thank you, and, and thank you for being able to answer them. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, so the value, the, the attendance uh, is impacted to a, a fair degree, or maybe even a large degree, by the exhibitions that you have. Yes. And yeah, there right. hasn't been the interest in the recent exhibitions, so you're looking at Increasing exhibitions for the future, uh, but that won't. But those many of them may be uh, at cost to uh, the taxpayers who pay the tax here in Macomb. Yeah, we are increasing not the number of exhibitions. We are increasing the quality and relevance of those exhibitions to the Macomb uh, residents. Okay. So we're trying to find exhibitions that will be appealing to them. Okay. You know, it would be uh, helpful. Um, and you may not have this here, and that's fine. But uh, to have a breakdown. Uh, in the future of admissions um, versus uh, uh, of the, the of the, I guess you could say the free admissions. How many Macomb County residents are taking advantage of their opportunity to go at no cost to the DIA? Um, 46,000 people. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know that this was... Um, uh, That's Macomb. Yeah. Does that, that include the, the paid admissions? For the special no, exhibitions? No, this is just for general admission. Okay. Exhibitions are not uh, recorded there. That helps uh, me understand it. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate thank answering you. the question. Thank you for your questions. Thank you. Commissioner Leonetti. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have a question. Uh, this is a softball question, um, and maybe, maybe you folks know too. So I was going to court this morning at the circuit court, and I saw this beautiful piece of art there. Was that you folks that put that up? Is that part of what you guys do? Yes. What, what was that art piece again? It was Decimus or something like that? Uh, do you know? <laughs> uh, you don't know. I, you have an image. I can tell you what it is. Uh, you know, I've been looking for the image, and uh, I'll, I'll look at it. pretty good at but, images, but, but I don't remember exactly where each piece is. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It was actually, I couldn't believe it. I was walking the court up the front steps, and I looked, and I saw this this cool piece that I would see at the DIA. So mm -hmm. now I know why it was there. So that's some of the things you do in the, in, in the communities, I take it, is... is an occasion display pieces like yeah, that? Yeah, this is the Inside Out program I was mentioning at the right. beginning. It is uh, the reproductions of a work of art that we place in the community, and it could be in, in the uh, location that you were mentioning, or we can put them on, on squares or in front of an art center, and they are uh, they're extremely popular. And I'll just tell you an anecdote. Sometime one person one time called me uh, from Bloomfield Hills, a very nice lady, uh, when I was curator of European paintings at the DIA, and said, are you the curator? I said, yes, I am. Well, you should know there is a self-portrait by Van Gogh outside <laughs> of the public <laughs> library. Someone's going to steal it. <laughs> and I said, oh, what? And said, but don't worry, because my husband is here, and he's protecting the piece. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, that uh, uh, that talks a lot about the beauty, the, the, the quality of these reproductions that are waterproof and all that, and uh, how engaging they are. And one of the things, that, and since you asked me the question, I'm going to talk a little bit about that very briefly. We are receiving um, 
funding from the Knight Foundation to continue this program. This program we offer th to the three counties and is not part of our service agreement. We pay for it. It's not paid by taxpayers. And um, this year we're getting a grant, probably. It's not confirmed yet, but I have good hopes to get a grant to continue the program next year and to actually evaluate the impact of the program in those communities, how this is changing the community and how those communities are coming mo more to the DIA. So what we want through Inside Out is what um, Commissioner Dredd, you were, you, were, uh, you were mentioning, I want more people to come, more Macomb residents to come to the DIA and take advantage of the free admission. Um, and I think DIA inside out can be very helpful for that. Okay, thank well, you. thank you. And it was, it was a neat piece. It was neat to see that yeah, in front of, of the court. So okay. thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Commissioner, Commissioner Brown. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate the outreach because there was much angst at the time of the millage about what the residents of Macomb County were going to receive as a result of the, the investment they were making in the arts. And, uh, and I will say that I was one of those skeptics. But I'm so pleased with the leader, under your leadership and the board, the, the leaders from Macomb County, you've really taken great pains to turn it around, which was once a, a mythical place in the center of the city of Detroit that few people knew about. Now it's something that everyone knows more and more about. I also want to thank you for coming out to my community, Romeo, in May, uh, sep uh, September 10th. You're going to come out and do a director's cut at the Romeo Arts uh, Center out there at Starkweather Gallery. Just confirmed that this afternoon. So um, we appreciate you reaching out because the more people understand what's going on and get to see a return on their investment that they've made, it, it helps. And uh, so I, I appreciate that. And uh, things are improving and they're on the right path. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner Brown. And, and uh, what I was mentioning at the, at the end of my presentation, we want to do things better, we want to engage better, and we, we want to have a better impact in Macomb. And that's the reason why we're taking this strategic approach to really identify who are, which are our strategic partners in Macomb, how can we work with them, make, have an impact in the community, and measure that impact so we continue to do the best service possible here in Macomb. Um, I have one quick question. Um, when you are unable to meet the service agreement in different categories, um, is, what's the result of that? Is there any? That's a great question. The result was that we just started that program and that uh, we had no experience doing it. So it was a way to learn as we were doing it. Well, I, I think that's the cause. I'm just wondering, so in the future, so, so say you had two or three categories next year where you couldn't meet your service agreement. Mm -hmm. Is there a penalty? Is there, is there a, you didn't meet it, therefore? That's, so, yeah, go ahead. The spending rules over. The, the, the spending rules over if you haven't met it for one year. <laughs> okay. We do it the following year. It's Correct. The okay. spending roll is over, yes. All right, thank you. Are there any other? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we, there, you're a, Commissioner Carabelli. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for being here again. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, I can echo a lot of the comments that the commissioners have made. Uh, I, I think the, the DIA is so important, and I think you're doing a great job down there. Thank you. With that said, I'm still uh, not warm and fuzzy on the uh, Macomb County taxpayers just over the situation of subsidizing. With that said, I, I know you've given us the numbers for uh, Macomb County, and you have that broken out, and then Oakland and Wayne, which are the three counties that have a special uh, millage to support. What I would like to see back, if you can get it through the board chair, I'd like to see the breakdown of the other seven COG communities, your Washtenaw County, your uh, Monroe, um, St. Clair, and Genesee, no, no, Livingston. I'd like to see the member, uh, the, the residents, I know you track that, that come in, yeah. from those other communities that aren't part of the, I know they have to pay to come in, I still would mm -hmm. like to know the percentage of the residents that come in there to see how that's done because, uh, again, um, I know it's important and I know this the, uh, the gem that it is, but it's also I think that uh, the true district should be supporting if there's going to be support, not just the three big brothers. So We will bring that uh, information in, in our next. Or you can forward it off. Or you can board. give it to the, uh, the board chair, absolutely. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you. Briefly, Commissioner Drillette. I have an extensive list of questions. No, I'm just kidding. I just have a, a, a follow-up. Um, 
the, uh, I appreciate you uh, bringing the chart showing the drop in attendance by Macomb County residents over the years. Uh, what has been the increase in the amount of revenue coming from Macomb during those years that attendance has been declining? Has revenue from Macomb County's millage been increasing from 2013 through 2016? I don't, I don't have that information don't with me right now. Okay. It would be logical that it would be because property values have been yeah. recovering, you know, from. It has, and if I, I recall, I think the last one I saw in August of 2016, I think the dollars were 5.3 million, and maybe the year before that was 4.9 million. Okay. I'm just guessing from memory, I, I, I think that was the number. It did go up a little bit in 2016, slightly. Okay. I, you'd have to talk to the finance people to get the exact figures. Uh, would our finance department have that number or, or uh, well, I mean, could we, if they can send us that information. That would be great. I'd just like to know. I, I, I mean, it's concerning that fewer and fewer people are going to the DIA and over the last four years. And our finance department might be able And we're to paying well. more and more. So I just wanted to understand that. Th that is. Yeah, I, I think, well, right, I, I mean, understanding that this is, He's giving a report, but I right. think he wasn't expecting like an agenda item that's an approval type thing. So sure. um, um, I, you could probably get with Steve because he's right there in between the meetings uh, to find out if our finance director can give that. And if he can't, then they'll forward it over. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. If I may. Yeah, the, uh, it's true the attendance for general admission has been dropping a little bit. It's not... Well, it's about 15% from 2013 to 2016. Yeah. And, and this is vi very consistent with the kinds of exhibitions that we do. Um, um, with the exhibitions that we will have in the, um, in the fall, Monet and uh, Church, uh, w and the uh, next exhibition in next year, which is going to be about film, I think uh, the... Uh, attendance will increase because that is the experience that we had in the past. I would like to point out that um, it's true we've been receiving uh, apparently increasing support from taxes from Macomb and we have as well increased our investment on the school uh, programs, on the senior programs, and the community partnership programs. So it's true there's less people coming to, uh, from Macomb to the DI, but we are serving Macomb at a greater level through our investment for the, for the schools, for the seniors, and for the uh, uh, community partnership. Well, I, I appreciate that, and I, I do think that the number of people who choose to go to the flagship is important. And I, I would hope that the um, future um, uh, events that you are planning are uh, attractive to members of Macomb, uh, to people in Macomb County and reverse these figures. So thank you. Uh, and uh, you have my commitment that I will work on that and make that number change next year. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> One more thing uh, just before we end. I'd like to uh, extend an invitation to all the commissioners to come to our next board meeting, which is May 17th. I send an email from my office. It's at 10.30. Uh, you're all welcome to come, and uh, there will be different presentation and wonderful lunch. So I think we already we got something. Okay, thank you very much for thank coming you. in. Thank you, thank you so um, much. And we need a uh, we need a voice vote for a receive and file on this. So I need a motion, motion by Gillette, supported by Leonetti. Uh, 